hi guys welcome back in this video i'm going to explain one of the application of Devinate Integra that is how you can use Devinate Integra to find the average value of a function one of the ways you can apply Integra is in the context of finding the average value of a function f of s over an interval a b remember i told you during my first video when i released the first video on integral i said we have two type of integral so we have the definite integral then we have indefinite integral and what distinguishes between the two types of integral simply is the constant c you understand i said that indefinite integral is a kind of integral so we are by you add the constant of integration after you've integrated after your integration so definite integral on the other hand is a kind of integral so we are by the constant of integration finishes after you've integrated so because the result of the integral the result of the integration is going to give you a definite number that's why we call it definite integral so one of the application of this definite integral is to use it to find the average value of a function f of x over an interval a comma b how do you do this to do this you use this formula so the formula 1 divided by b minus a the integral from a to b f of x dx so we are this is your integral and this is 1 divided by the length of the interval it is very simple to do for example if i have this type of question find the average value of f of s equal to 3s squared plus 8s over minus 1,2. Remember I told you this is very simple. So you just slot it into this formula. Then my average value of this function 3s squared plus 8x. So over this function will now be, remember the formula is 1 divided by a minus b in the graph a to b f of x dx so you know from this interval i have that my a a is equal to minus one b is equal to two if you understand that okay now let us now substitute and we were given our f of s to be three x squared plus eight x so let us now substitute into the formula then i'm going to have something of this nature 1 divided by 2 minus into minus 1. So then I have integral from minus 1 to 2, 3x squared plus 8x dx. Okay, now recall that when you multiply minus by minus, you are going to have positive. Then this gives me 1 divided by 3, integral minus 1 to 2. 3x squared plus 8x ds then you can integrate this directly so or you apply your linearity property so whereby you give each of these term the integral sign because i i told you integral operator satisfy the linearity property in essence if i have integral f plus g dx the same thing as integral f dx plus integral g dx so this one is going to give me 1 over 3, therefore, I have integral of this recall also that when you have integral s raised by n, then you are going to have s raised by n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. You can refer to some of my videos on integral, so to know how we integrate and some of the standard integral. So then I'm going to have 3 s raised by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1. This one is s raised by 1 before. 
half s raised by one plus one divided by one plus one. So then you put your interval. If you like, you can put plus c. And the moment you put it, the moment you finish slotting the I mean, uh, uh, interval, when you are substituting the value of the interval, the constant of integration will vanish. That's why we call it definite integral. So I don't forget what I explained, that when you have integral of f of x from a to b, then you are going to have something of this nature, f of a, f of b, that is after the integra integral. So after you've introduced integration, you have this function. So that is anti-integral is has been applied to this function. That's why I have uppercase of f of b minus f of a. So likewise, here I'm going to have one divided by three. This is three, three, we cancel three, then I have s raised by three plus four s squared plus c from minus one to two. So then you are going to have 1 over 3. So where you see x here, you put 2. That gives you 2, 2 raised by 3 plus 4 raised by 2 squared plus c minus. Then you substitute the value of minus 1. Minus 1 raised by 3 plus 4 into minus 1 raised by 2 plus c. You understand? What do you observe? You observe that if I open the brackets, okay, let me do that. Then I'm going to have my average value now to be 1 divided by 3. This is 8 plus, this is 4 times 4, 16 plus C minus into minus 1 plus 4 plus C. So then my average value is going to be 24 plus C. This will give me minus plus 4. Minus 1 plus 4 will give me what? That's 3. Then I have 3 plus C. So then your average value will now be 1 over 3. 24 plus C minus 3 minus C. You will see that C and C cancel out. If you like, you could just get rid of the constant of integration immediately after you've integrated it. So... But I want to show that, I want to show the reason why we don't use to add the constant of integration to definite integral if not been following my video before. So then we are left to 1 over 3, 24 minus 3, that will give me 21. Then you have that I have 7 as my final answer. Then we can conclude adequately that the average value of f of x at the point you were given minus 1 comma 2 is 7. So you see it is as simple as that. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to click on the like button. If you've not subscribed to my channel before, so don't forget to do so. I've made many videos so on different aspects of mathematics. Kindly refer to my channel and some of my playlists. Thank you so much.